Hi everybody, here we have Luke, that's me, and we have Yenik, my son, he's four. So I've noticed from looking at the analytics on my YouTube channel that a lot of my traffic is all about the one snowblower video mm -hmm. where I'm chewing a, through a big chunk of ice and Yenik was there watching and it seems to be what draws really 99% of the viewers to my channel. <clears throat> so I decided to use that. Uh, as a tip to kind of make videos that people might enjoy. And what I'm gonna do is, well, Yannick and I are gonna film a series of videos uh, all about the YT624J and, uh, you know, its maintenance, it's not kind of its features and the experience I've had with mine and kind of things to look out for. So uh, what we're gonna do here is get ready uh, and show the snowblower, I mean, it's, for us, it's its fifth year of operation because I picked it up in 2016. So we're entering its fifth year of operation here in Northern Ontario in Timmins. And uh, it's chewed through a lot of snow, uh, my house and the neighbor's house, and it has not let me down at all with no shear pin failures of any kind, uh, nor any issues. And I'll do a condition assessment on video. Uh, so next we'll transfer over to the, you know, where I store it, how I store it. We'll move on to some maintenance And some of the yeah, you know boy. most common most common maintenance. And Yannick, do you have anything to say to the viewers? No. Yannick has a few videos on YouTube. Uh, one of them being of the PW50 assembly project, uh, which the PW is behind us here actually. So here's the storage location for the YT624J. Um, I bought this cover from Yamaha. Be careful, bud. I bought this cover from Yamaha and it gets stored right here in the garage uh, all winter and all summer and keeps the dust off and keeps it protected. So one of the useful features I like to do is to keep a spreadsheet on the bulk of my equipment. So here I've got snowblower oil changes and I've listed off the various oil changes whether it's engine or worm gear. And here I've listed out some of the content for the video. Then I'll put in little facts like compression test results, valve check results, etc. Uh, some of the more extensive ones I have is like, for example, my motorcycle. I'll build out a, a winter plan for maintenance. And um, I'll record valve positions, leak down checks, and when I do oil changes on my motorcycle. And finally, one of the ones I want to bring up uh, that I think is super useful to put in your garage is a torque sheet. So here you can put your, your main equipment, so like whether it's motorcycle, other motorcycle, snowmobile, uh, lawnmower, or in this case a snowblower, what oil is used, how, uh, how much of it, the different torques. And then I like to put a torque conversion chart because my torque wrenches vary between newton meters, inch pounds, and foot pounds. Um, so really recommend one of these it seems overkill but then you find yourself looking at it all the time so i uh, hope this is helpful um, another very useful uh, tool uh, in owning a snowblower and actually maintaining it is, is both manuals you got the owner's manual which comes with the unit uh, you know most of the stuff in here is is pretty common knowledge and can probably deduce it just from looking at the thing but the other is the, the service manual, which a lot of people will say, well, it's a very simple machine. You really don't need that. You know, don't be excessive. But I find that this helps answer all the questions that you're not really sure of the answer on. It's the $117. This would be the, the part number here. Yeah, so that's 7TO-F8197-21. Here we have Yenik Enterprising on a project. There is a shear pin kit, which is this here. It's a 7TO-W008A-01. All right, guys, here's the season five as found. So um, just took the cover off. It's still sitting there. So to me, after five seasons, this unit looks still brand new, um, you know, very good condition. And I've used it extensively. So I leave little post-it notes usually at the end of the season. So here I've got a post-it note saying the battery was charged May 9th. Uh, it says oil changed end of season so you know I probably won't be repeating the oil change aspect just now because that'd be a waste of oil so here we have our snowblower unit 
Uh, Yannick's going to turn the, the key on for us so we can see the light turn on and we'll go through some of the very basic features because there's lots of videos on this. Yeah, turn it on bud. Other way, other way. Okay, there we go, that's it, that's good. So that's an LED light. We've got the tracks obviously, which everyone loves, raves about. And you've got these pins that need to be removed and placed in the outside position if you want to roll it around. Place the pins back on the inside to get driven. Uh, the tracks still look in good condition, in my opinion, after the, the five years. You've got the shoes underneath here that still look in good shape, as far as I'm concerned. The whole body, uh, the steel body, the blue, blue painted body still looks good. Uh, internally here, um, you know, I think still th things still look very good. The teeth are still in good shape. You know, a little bit of paint going off some of the tips, but generally really good. Uh, the paint inside, you can see a tiny bit of rust uh, in the bottom there, but it's really not too bad. Like obviously there's a lot of rocks and sand that gets seen by the inside here, so not much a person can do. Um, the, uh, these clips for the old Viking stick, you know, do get a bit loose, so they gotta be tightened sometimes. So I can see having to probably replace these clips after a while, just because they've lost some of their, you know, so now, you know, a person's gotta kind of compress them in a bit to restore the spring action. And there is an engine key switch here, which you can turn for electric start. And then there's a starting pull, pull handle here. One nice feature as well is there is a, a carburetor drain so here we go, first start after being off all year with the recent valve adjustment. Gas has been turned on. So we're gonna let that idle for a bit. And we're gonna try uh, get some weight for it. 